Hello, good afternoon. So we are live here from one of the Mayo Clinic laboratories. You can see in the background. This is one of the laboratories we do research into myelodysplastic syndrome or MDS. My name is Raul Tibis. I'm a physician here at the Mayo Clinic. Uh, my specialty is oncology and hematology and I focus on treating patients with um, all kinds of hematological diseases or blood cancers, but also with a special focus on myelodysplastic syndrome or MDS, as well as other forms of myeloid malignancies. Today, so we will talk about myelodysplastic syndrome or MDS. What is MDS? MDS, probably the best description I heard is a lazy bone marrow as one patient told me once. So essentially the bone marrow is not making enough new blood cells because all the blood cells are made in the bone marrow. And once they're formed and, you know, nice healthy blood cells, they get released into the bloodstream. In MDS now, the bone marrow becomes insufficient and doesn't make enough of blood cells anymore. This could affect just the red cells and patients become anemic. It could just affect the platelets and patients become or have low platelets on, on the blood test or it can affect the white blood cell count or WBC as we often call it. And here we pay particular attention and focus on the A and C which is the absolute neutrophil count because that often is, those are the, the functioning white cells, the infection fighting functioning white cells. So in MDS now we see a reduction in one, two or all three of those blood cells or we call them blood lineages. So why does MDS happen? So often, like in medicine, we can describe the steps or the molecular steps that happen. Why something happened, we often don't know. Some of the risk factors for MDS is previous exposure, previous treatment with chemotherapy, heavy radiation exposure, or even radiation exposure for other treatment purposes, or a previous transplant, or previous treatment for other cancers, or radiation therapy. But very often, MDS just happens out of the blue. It does occur more frequently in patients of older age. How do we diagnose an MDS? So, if a patient, often, a patient is found to have low blood counts on a blood test, and then depending on how those blood cells look on the blood test and depending on what the other medical problems or conditions are and after another series of other blood tests, we often get, go straight to the source, which is the bone marrow, because all the cells in the blood are made in the bone marrow. So a bone marrow biopsy is one of the essential um, workup steps that is needed to establish MDS. However, sometimes, even after a bone marrow biopsy, we're not quite sure because MDS is myelodysplastic syndrome. This means the cells just look a little dysplastic or the shape of the cells is a little abnormal under the microscope. And you can imagine that this is sometimes, you know, or could be a little subjective um, assessment, especially at the lower risk MDS. Another essential step in working up an MDS is looking at the chromosome studies. So every cell has chromosomes and in MDS the cells just the MDS cells they have found a way to lose parts of a chromosome or to gain parts of a chromosome again we can see that and we can do molecular tests and chromosome tests or so-called cytogenetics to find those why this happens we don't know but those findings also help us establish the diagnosis of an MDS